All right, welcome back to another episode with Paradox the Rapper. On this episode, I'm gonna show you how to prep this 240 for rap. Okay, so this one encompasses all the different situations with bad paint, brand new kit, uh, polyurethane bumpers that rap doesn't wanna stick to. I'm gonna show you how to prep all that. But first, before we get into it, this episode is brought to you by Coverlay. Brand new sponsor for the channel. They were so awesome in sending me dash covers for both this car and my S13. So they make dash covers for the S14 and S13. So let's go and have a closer look at what they sent me. It's sitting right over there. So these guys are actually from Texas and they are US made, so support them. This stuff is very, very affordable. You can go and buy like dash covers on eBay that's like the cloth kind. Let me show you, let me show you. Okay, so so your alternative is this kind of dash cover. It's in here, you see, you see how it kind of just sits on top of my busted dash on the VR4. And that one, uh, you're, you know, it's like 50, $60, really cheap, but it doesn't fit very well at all. It's just a carpet that you drape on top of it. And you have to deal with like, you know, double-sided tape with Velcro and all that stuff. <sighs> Such a pain in the ass. Don't do that. Go to Coverlay. They will hook you up with a dash cover that is made to fit directly onto your dash. You don't have to take it apart. You don't have to flock it. You don't have to go and hunt for a new dash that is not cracked and then praying that it's not gonna crack on you. Okay, this stuff is really cheap. It's like a hundred and something dollars, 150, something like that. You can check the pricing on their website go to the description and check it out okay so these guys are so awesome i already tried it on there and it's a perfect fit you don't even have to glue it you can so let's go check it out all right look at that the ducks know what time it is it's time to start so <laughs> i'm filming this segment after i've done all the preparation so we'll, we'll, we'll show you the prep part next but let's check out this dash cover oh man okay so there you are. This looks very basic. I'll lay it on the ground here. So it just sits like that for an S14. Okay. And my dash on the S14 is clapped. Well, it's not that bad, but it's going to get there. You can see right here. Look at that. Look at that crack. So the only way to fix this is you fill in the cracks with like Bondo or something. And then you have to sand it down. That requires that you take this whole dash off, do all that stuff, flock it, put it back on. Lots of videos on how to. That size not so bad, but it's getting there. But mostly it's right here. So why do all that when you can just fix this in two or three minutes? Let me show you. We'll do it right now. Or you're just going to take this. You don't even have to clean it. I will after this, but I just want to show you. Look at that. Look at that. It just slides on. Oh, we're getting here. Okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Give it to me. Give it to me. Look at that perfect fit. So. It comes with a silicone glue in the package that they send you. Um, or you can just get some from Home Depot. And then you can just glue the edges. They said that I should just glue the edges, not the middle. Otherwise, um, it won't have enough room to flex in the heat. And it will cause it problems potentially. So just, if you're going to glue it, glue the edge of the whole dash. And there it is. It just sits on there. You can pick any color you want. Uh, they have like 10 different colors maybe. I'm not sure. I just told them to give me black because black fits everything. But um, they have mostly like OEM colors. So you can probably get it in the blue to match your interior or um, red or whatever it is. Check it out on their website. Thank you, Coverlay, for sponsoring this episode. This is so nice. Holy shit. Okay. Oh man, that is gonna look so good. So I got a wing that I just put on there and I got a roof fin. I'm gonna show you guys that too. We're gonna mount both of those on the car 
because we're going to get this thing ready to be wrapped. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to prep something like this for wrap. Okay. Uh, this has the whole combination of different scenarios that you're going to run into when you're wrapping a car. Uh, I mean, minus the primer. <laughs> so, um, yes, you can wrap a primer car, but um, this one doesn't really have any primer, but we're going to have to sand it down a lot of it to the primer. Look at all this. Look at all this paint right here. All jacked up. So you can't wrap over this because as soon as the wrap touches this, it's going to just stick to the wrap and not to the car. And it's going to ruin your wrap. So this whole thing really needs to be sanded down. The um, poly kits, we're going to need to get rid of the coating that's on the poly kit itself so that uh, the wrap will stick to it. They put a coating on it so nothing sticks to it so that they can do the molding okay so i talked to the guys that make kbd or poly bumpers they said that i'm supposed to scrub it with ajax with bleach okay um once you scrub it it should be able to be used for paint or um for wrapping so we'll see i haven't I, this is the first time doing it um previously I've had issues with sticking uh, wrap to this material and um, yeah, I had to use a lot of wrap glue to get it in there. Let's get into it. We're going to figure out how to use the Ajax and I'm going to 3M tape all this stuff on. So this wing's got to be mounted correctly, kind of like that. And then I can wrap it because I don't ever plan on taking the wing off. So I'm going to do the trunk in separate pieces and the wing in separate pieces. Um, I kind of have to secure this thing, do a little more sanding and cutting. Um, kind of trim like this to make it a little more even. And look at all this bad paint right here. Look at that. Okay, so this... This is all I've got to go. You're gonna sand it down totally smooth. All these marks and stuff like that. Um, it's all gotta be sanded down. Okay, and right here in my <laughs> pile of swords, I have my wing, okay? So this is the roof wing and it's gonna sit up there kind of like that. Got off of eBay, super cheap. Does it fit that well? Eh, it could need some help, but it will stick. Oh, okay, there you go. It's stayed. It's stayed. <laughs> That's going to look fire. I painted the underside of that roof wing black so that it's going to be easier to do. Okay, I got my essentials. My, uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Falling apart. My Vader mask. Okay, for sanding and I, you know, I like to use these things. Um, this is from, this is an orbital from Harbor Freight and then the pad itself is from Home Depot. Uh, it's not like your regular pad, it's like a net pad. So I find that these last longer so you don't burn through as many. Um, when you're using the regular like, you know, sandpaper pad, all this stuff just gums it up. So, <sighs> This is not going to be fun. So I got, I got my swim trunks on. Um, look, at, <laughs> I just came out of the pool. So we'll just get these dirty. I look like Magnum PI in these things. What do you, what do you guys know about the Islander scene? Okay. So let's strap up. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. All right, let's do it.
got most of the car sanded down. We're not going to sand down the hood because the hood looks like the paint's pretty good. Um, if I run into issues while I'm wrapping it, I will do it. But over here, we got this whole fender kind of sanded down. So anywhere where you see like flaking paint or a deviation in the paint, um, you're going to want to sand it. Okay, and then you want to sand like the whole area nearby it so that uh, when you lay down the ramp, it doesn't rip off any paint. Okay, so down here it looks pretty good, so I'm not going to mess with that, but up here definitely. These little scratches right here is okay because you can't really feel the difference. If you can't feel it with your fingers, it's not going to show up in the wrap, okay? Uh, this whole roof is pretty much sanded down, so you can kind of see right there. All the fluctuations in the paint is gone. Looks like someone just rattle canned it on here. Okay. Um, some of you guys ask, well, there's exposed metal. Is it okay to wrap over exposed metal? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't done a car where there's exposed metal. And then I wrapped it. And then I pulled it back up after years. That's in the process right now. So these guys over here. As you can see in the, my previous videos, if you go to the VR4 build or the MR2 build or the 240 build, they have been sanded down to the bare metal on a lot of the parts. And basically, um, I've tested the wrap on it and it looks like it's doing okay, but I'm not too sure. Okay, so I can't give you a 100% guarantee that uh, if you wrap over bare metal, it's going to be fine. There's no rust. I do live in California and it's rather dry and the weather's good. Okay. Maybe you don't want to do that if you're in the East Coast and you're, you have a lot of humidity in the air. Um, that's up to you to decide. Don't, <laughs> don't sand your car down to the metal, wrap it, and then your whole car rusts and then blame me. Okay. The best way to do it is for you to basically get some primer and then spray down this part right here so anywhere that where there's exposed metal spray it with some primer of course tape it off sand the primer once the primer is smooth and nicely blended with the rest of the body you can wrap okay you don't want to commit a giant piece of wrap to bad paint or to a bumper that you're unsure about like this one that doesn't stick so right here um what i did was i sanded off the initial uh layer of the kbd body kit that doesn't stick the original part looks like this you can if you touch it you can feel how slick it is and then over here kind of rougher um i think if you do that it'll be fine but we're gonna ajax it anyways um and then back here i'm pretty much almost done just some parts left and i like to wrap with the wing on and everything so i'm gonna mount my wing onto here because it's black and it's easier that way and then i sprayed the underside of this wing black right here so it yeah, don't don't mind all that I'll, I'll wipe that off but uh because i sprayed the underside black i don't need to wrap the underside i just need to wrap the top every time i change colors okay so that's the strategy i'm going with okay all right let's finish this up we're gonna soap it all down. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys the soaping part, and then the last part we're gonna test the wrap on it, and then it's ready to go. All right, so I got the Ajax sprinkled on with bleach onto here. Looks like cocaine. And then I'm gonna take a scrubber thing. Hmm, is this supposed to be got soaked up or something? All right, let's let's give it some more water. Okay, okay. A little bit of, little bit of juice on there. Now we're gonna scrub this sucker down. Just like that. And I think this should do the trick. I talked to KBD and they said this is what you have to do um, to get rid of that kind of clear shit that they put on there um, to get rid of that clear like coat of stuff
stuff that they put on there to make it not stick to the mold. And that will cause paint and wrap to not stick. Okay, so we're gonna do this for the rest of the car. I won't bore you guys with me scrubbing all this down, but you guys get the idea. And then after this, we'll test wrap on it. Okay. We're prepped and we're ready to wrap. So how do you know if it's ready? All right, so what you wanna do is lay some wrap on it. See if it sticks. Well, it doesn't really stick to this one. I have to Ajax the front bumper still, but we're gonna test it right here. So there's still some residual paint right here. I probably need to do some better sanding, but what you wanna do is lay your wrap on there and you see how you can kind of just see imperfections, just like that. Um, you're gonna wanna sand it down so that the imperfections are no longer there. So once you lay down the wrap like this, you wanna squeeze it with your hand, okay? And then, once it's nice and squeegee, you're gonna rip it off. Okay, so if it rips off without much residue, you can still see some residue right here. Then it needs, if, it, if there's residue, then you're gonna need uh, more sanding. But if there's none, then you're good to go. So you're gonna cut another piece. Try again. Squeegee down. Okay, this is looking better. That last one ripped out a whole bunch of paint or imperfections and that's looking good. Pull it, we're good to go, okay. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the roof and we're gonna try it on the back bumper here. I've already Ajaxed this. So it looks like it's kinda sticking a lot better. So you wanna work it into the, like the grooves right here and then see if it sticks. Okay, I feel some stickiness, that's good. I'm gonna try to test it down here to see if that's gonna stick. Okay, you're, the, the issues you're gonna run into is if whether or not it's gonna stick into here. You see how it's gonna pop out a little bit? But if you don't have any tension here, I think it should be fine, but you know. Um, maybe I need some more Ajax down here, but the rest of it looks like it's sticking rather nicely. So I think we're good to go. All right guys, that's it for this episode. If you've been paying attention to what's happening, <laughs> you can see that over here is a S15 hood. Okay, so I'm collecting parts to do an S15 conversion at some point. Um, once I have all the parts, we'll decide whether or not I'm gonna do it. But for now, we're gonna make this thing one color. So. Tune into the next episode where we will wrap this car, okay? So huge thanks to Coverlay for sponsoring this episode. And if you like that dash um, that I have in there now, go check them out and go buy a, a, a dash cover that just, boom, just pops in there. So it's awesome, awesome. Okay, until next time, like, comment, subscribe, guys. I'll catch you guys later.